So I decided to set up a last minute Facebook Live workout, a follow along. You guys can follow along. I showed you earlier what equipment you're gonna need. This is basically a workout to show you not to make any of your bullshit excuses to adapt and overcome no matter what, what's going on. So I had a great workout planned for the gym today. And then later on, I was gonna go take one of our boxing classes tonight. And things happen throughout your day. Things are always gonna happen in your crazy life. You're not gonna be able to always follow what you have planned. So that's exactly what's going on today. So I'm gonna adapt and overcome. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't do my original workout I had planned earlier, but there's nothing that's ever gonna stop me from getting my workouts in. No matter what, I'm gonna figure out a way to get it in. So let's just flip this around, make sure we have the equipment we need. Today all we're using is a stability ball. You can get one for like five, six bucks. A light pair of dumbbells, those are just five pound dumbbells, that's all you need. A kettlebell, or if you just have a medicine ball, if you need to, instead of the kettlebell, you could just use a dumbbell. And then a heavier pair of dumbbells that you can just adjust or you can have different weights if you can. A medium, medium set. And then we're also gonna have some bands that are hooked up to a door. That's all we need to use. We have our coaches ready. Bob is here. Our kicking bag in case we feel like beating the shit out of something. And our zombie coach is here. They're always here with us. So we're gonna do a quick warm up. And then we're gonna get into a fat, it's a fast series workout. Today I had planned was pretty much shoulders, biceps, triceps, some cardio and some core. That was my workout. So all I'm doing is taking what, what I had planned in the gym and just now doing it at home with the equipment I have. You can always just have some basic equipment at home that you keep and you can always get a full body workout so you never can make any excuses. Oh, my kid was sick. Also tonight during one, one this is my second workout, I ended up having a meeting I have to go to so I won't be able to do that other workout so I'm going to adapt and overcome, figure it out. So you need to always have a, 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 B, a plan B, plan C, plan D, all the way to fucking Z. You need to have a plan, backup plan for everything no matter what. The second something goes wrong, a little tiny speed bump in your day, you can't let that just screw up your whole day. You need to wake up in the morning, positive thoughts, just thinking strong, strong mind, and just control your day, dominate your day. There's nothing that's gonna stop you. No matter what happens in your day, you're gonna figure it out, you're gonna adapt and overcome. That's exactly what we're doing this workout. So I'm gonna just start a quick warm up since we're doing some shoulders, buys, tries, cardio, core. I'm gonna do a quick rotator cuff warm up my shoulders, start with my right arm going in. I'll make a separate video for each of these warm-ups going in more in detail in the future, but we're just going to fly through this now because we really want to just get this workout done in 20, 30 minutes, something like that, and see how long it goes using the equipment we just said. So we're just doing a few reps of each, going in and out, 90 degrees, getting the shoulders loosened up deep inside. We'll go over this a little slower, a little quicker, these different warm-ups. I already did my foam rolling before, so you should be warmed up a little bit. We're going to do a little additional warm-ups here with your arms and your legs, because we're gonna be doing some jumping, we're gonna be doing some weights, some core, a little bit of everything. So now I'm just gonna go stretch this lat out a little bit, reach this up, let it pull back a little bit, just to stretch it, and now rotating forward, 90 degrees forward. Need to warm up specific to the workout you're gonna do. Don't just sit and do the same bullshit, lame warm up. Like walking on a treadmill is not a warm up. Walking on a treadmill is gonna get you your blood flowing or whatever, but it is not gonna get you warmed up specifically to the work you're about to do. We know I'm about to do shoulders, Buys and tries. Exactly, we're gonna warm up with these bands. If I was doing something else, chest and back, we'd be warming up specific for the chest and back. If I was doing only cardio, lower body or whatever, we'd be warming up specifically to the lower body. We'd be doing some jumping, some bouncing, some core, so we need to get that all warmed up. Just gonna rotate through those real quick. We're gonna hit just a little bounce in our step, shifting backwards while our arm circles are going forward. Backwards, backwards circles, just loosening up. One more time, backwards, arm going forward. You're moving backwards with your feet, just bouncing in your step. Now come forward with your feet and your arm circles backwards, just loosening them up. Just keep moving the feet, side to side, front and back, whatever. Right arm is going on top, right arm is going on bottom, just flinging them, shaking it, stretching it, catch it for a stretch. Folding it open, catch it on the other side. So this is the adapt and overcome workout. No matter what happens in your day, do not let it screw you up. Do not make excuses why you can't get your training session in. We're using some equipment today because we just have it. We prepared, always prepared for the invasion. So we have our equipment. You know, you need to be prepared all the time. You're always prepared. You never have to get prepared. So if we didn't have this equipment, you could still do a full body, total body workout with zero equipment in an empty elevator. So there's never an excuse for not getting your workout in. So we have a, we're going to go in order of the same template throughout the workout. Basically, we're going to use our dumbbells for a shoulder, a bicep, or a tricep set, or shoulders and biceps mainly. Then we use our kettlebell for a, a different type of jumping jack. Then we're gonna use our heavier kettlebell for different types of swings. Then we're gonna use our light bar. 
base, mm -hmm. our bank core rotational type set, and then we're going to use our stability ball for a secondary core set. So it's going to go in that order all the time. So you're going to be in that order. Your heavier dumbbells, your lighter kettlebell, your heavier kettlebell, your lighter dumbbell, your bands, and then your stability ball. So those six straight across, so be one exercise for each. We're just going to keep it to like 10, 15, 20 reps, depending on the exercise. We're just going to fly straight through. You can do it tons of different ways. You can do one of each set of those six groups, 10 reps or 30 seconds or whatever the heck you want to do, and take a break and then repeat that same group. Or you could just run straight through. We're going to run straight through six exercises in those six groups, come right back around another six exercises in those six groups for five different groups, so 30 different exercises. We're going to do, for the most part, straight through here and there. We'll shake it out, keep those shoulders loose. You know you want to be smart about it. So let's get going with dumbbells for a shoulder press. So you want your medium, medium dumbbells. We don't want them heavy. We start with like 30 pounds. They do not need to be heavy. Because you're also considering you're doing other type of training. Like yesterday, I just did chest, back, and some legs. So today, doing my shoulders. Today's really just finishing off my shoulders after working the chest yesterday. So I don't need to go crazy on your shoulders. Your shoulders are going to get tons of work in your boot camp classes, in your boxing, in your chest day. Your shoulders are going to get tons of work. Shoulders in with buys, with core, with cardio, because it's just finishing them off. So we're going to start. We're just going to do, we're going to start this first round, 30 straight set, sets, 10, set, 10 reps of each, straight through. So this is your no excuse workout. Things happen, your kids get sick, you're stuck at home. You're just gonna run straight through this. We're just gonna go 10 reps of everything right here. Start with the shoulder press. Knees are bent 90 degrees, elbows are 90 degrees. You're gonna bring them up and close together, but they don't have to touch. You're not playing some fucking instrument. They don't have to clank up there every time. Breathe out, you're pushing up. In through. Five, arms together. Your palms are forward. You can also put your elbows in, palms in, shoot it up. If you have problems with your shoulders, you can find different angles that work. You can go like 45 degrees here and press it up. Find the angle that works for your shoulders. We're just going to hit about 10 reps. That's it. Simple stuff. We're going to go straight from here to our kettlebell set, which our cardio sets are all going to have shoulders built in since we're looking to get shoulders and buys. So we're going to go right to our kettlebell set, and we're going to do our, our jack press up. You can use a dumbbell, venison ball, whatever. We're just using the kettlebell set. So you're going to, when your feet jump apart, you're going to push the weight up overhead right here. Bam. Bam. Shoot it up. Breathe it out. Throw it up. Strong exhale when you're pushing up. Your abs are tight the whole time. Weight goes up when your feet go apart. Breathe it out. <sighs> exhale when you push up. Bam. Bam. You could do it for time, for reps. I'm just doing a set of whatever. You can stop when I stop, or you could just do 10. Right away, we're going into our heavier kettlebell or our medium kettlebell for our different types of swings. We're keeping this first round pretty simple to get things rolling. Just a double arm swing. <sighs> so right to about chest shoulder level. Snap your hips, squeeze your glutes, you're working the hamstrings, glutes, lower back, whip it up. So from the side view, you can see it's like I'm pulling it from behind me, snap it up, explode, hinge from the hips, not slouch at the waist. My shoulders are locked into the socket. My body is what's moving the weight. So right away you're going to go to your light dumbbell set. That was a kettlebell double arm swing, now your light dumbbell set. We're going to do run and punch up. You're going to basically do high knees in place while you're pressing these up. When the left knee's in the air, right weight's in the air. And you're just going to switch them. Bam, bam, bam. Speed. This is why we're using light weights. You do this at the right speed, you don't need more than five, ten, five, eight pounds. Probably three pounds would be good even. It's all about speed. Pumping it out. Boom, 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 boom. Full blast. Get those knees up. Strong core. Bam. Right into a bam. We're going to go punches. Right arm first. Bands attached to the door. My left leg is forward. My right leg is back. My hands are up. The bands are my right hand my chin. I'm going to pivot. Punch. Twist my right foot or my right hip. Pivot my right foot. We're going for speed here. So, boom. Snap it out. Your body is throwing that punch. Boom. Boom. That's out for innocent bystanders. You don't punch them in the side of the head. Bam. Bam. 
We're gonna switch right away to the left side. So now left leg is back, right leg is forward, hands are up, pivot this right foot, snap. Boat, straight line. Breathe out for each one, short burst of air. Abs are tight, stiff as a board. You can see this is the minimum amount of equipment you need. We're using different dumbbells, different kettlebells. There's no reason you can't do this all with even one single dumbbell, that's all you have. So there's no excuse. And stability ball, finishing the first round, is gonna be plank knee strikes. So we're here, holding a plank, and you're gonna strike with your knees. Bam! Alternating size, knocking you around, darting you around, causing you to have to brace your ass. And you have a cheerleader there. How could you stop and give up and make excuses when you got little freaks like that? that are watching you and relying on you and counting on you to lead them and show them the way. How are you going to do that? How are you going to be a little punk ass and give up? No Apparently someone doesn't look no very sick anymore. Excuses. You should be joining the workout with me, boy. So that's the first round. You could stop, repeat that same group, or go right to this next group we're about to do. We're just going to do one round of each for now. Then we'll come back around and redo some of them. So we're gonna go back. Who's there? Thank you. And Christy. Christy, get your ass to the gym. Angelina. Did you text me yesterday? I think you did. I gotta get back to you. So I asked you to text me. So now we're gonna go right back around. Same template. We're getting warmed up. We're nice and warmed up. So we're gonna start stripping. Throw your freaking dollar bills every time we're stripping, right? So we're going to dumbbells. Simple stuff. It's just a bicep curl. Bam, we're just going double arm. Because we work our, our chest and our back so hard, we don't spend much time on shoulders, biceps, and tries and abs. So we put them all together, or at least I do, on a second day. So I did a hard chest and back and legs, legs workout yesterday. So I don't need to spend much time on arms. I'll do a couple sets of bicep curls per week, if that. That's all it takes. You do pull-ups, you do the right exercises. Make sure your elbows are stuck to your sides from the side here. So don't let them raise up here. The second your elbow comes to your side, that's your shoulder taking over. Elbow should be glued alongside your spine. Squeeze it up, resist down. Brace your abs. Even though it's just a bicep set, think of it as a total body exercise. Because you're holding, you're bracing, your legs are strong, a little bend in your hips, abs are solid. Your whole body is supporting that. Think of it as a total body exercise. Kettlebell, your light kettlebell. Now we have our jack, a different type of jack. We're going to jack press out. First set we did up, now we're going out. Feet go apart, push the weight forward. Hold it from the horns. Fully extend your arms. I'm just giving you different angles, but actually, I think we just created an exercise. You can do jack press out rotating. Look at that. We just created an exercise together. Cause we're fucking awesome like that. Oops, I didn't see you back there. Yeah. Good job. All right, so we're gonna move on. Try kettlebell swing. We're doing our heavier kettlebell. Not too heavy though, still light. And just a right arm swing. So your body should be moving exactly like you did for the single arm or double arm. That shoulder's locked into the socket. Explode up. Snap. Whip the hips. Squeeze the glutes. Pinch your butt cheeks together. You should be able to pinch a penny in between there. Pinch those glutes together like you're back in prison, fighting for your life again. Whip it, bam. Right arm only, done. So we'll try light dumbbells. So we have our run and punch out. Last set, we're run and punch up. So this set is run and punch out. Let's do it. High knees, straight punches. So you're here, opposite and opposite. Boom, 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 boom. Full speed. On the balls of your feet, the pads of your feet. Abs are tight. Get those knees up. Pump it out. Five. Four. Three. Pump it. Don't be a little poke. Time. These are those quick sets. We're doing so many sets in a row. If you did them for like 30 seconds each or 45 seconds each, you would take a break in between sets. Do what you gotta do. We're doing a quick set, a couple reps, and we're gonna keep moving. Who we got out there? Kelly's out there watching. 
Kelly was our transformation, six week transformation winner. Lost like 30 something pounds in the last six weeks. She won the contest. Light dumbbells, we got bands, reverse punch. So we were going forward with the punch before. You can see I'm out of breath. If you're doing this stuff and you're not out of breath, don't think, oh, this workout's too easy for me. No, that means you're being a punk ass and you're not pushing hard enough. You need to be going all out that you're out of breath. I'm in fairly decent shape. So if this shit can make me out of breath, and it's not making you out of breath, you're not going hard enough, you're not going heavy enough, you're not going fast enough, and you're probably just going through the motions, probably why you're not getting results. Maureen is watching. Maureen, I got a topic for our next Facebook Live on Tuesday about plateaus. I've heard that you think you're in some kind of plateau. We're gonna talk about that one. Anyway, reverse punch. Feet are squared up, arm is straight forward. You're gonna pull this into your rib. While you twist this hip, you're gonna rip it back. Speed, rip back like the reversal punch. Obviously punch up in your chin, but just with this exercise here, you're digging in that waist. So we're gonna go bam, bam, twist, twist. Bring the elbow over the top, you can even block your head. Boom, boom, whip it. So you're pivoting your left foot while you rip back with your right arm, bam, bam. Strong core the whole time. Whip it. Right away, left arm, now your right foot's gonna pivot. Whatever hand is ripping it back, opposite foot's gonna pivot. Boom, twist. Breathe out each one. So one foot, my left foot is stable, my right foot is pivoting. My whole toe is following my knee, following my hip, shoulder, all the way together. Ripping it back. We got our stability ball set coming up. No, don't touch, no, don't touch. Go play, don't touch. Don't touch. Stability balls, just like the plank with the knee strike. Yes, Maureen, you are in trouble again. I've heard some rumors that you're at the plateau, right? Maureen, how much more weight do you want to lose? Answer the question, how many more weight do you You're down like 100. First, tell me how much you're down, and tell me how, how many, how much more weight do you want to lose? Put that in the comments, Maureen. We're gonna talk about your plateau next week. So now we're here, that same plank is in four. We did, except you're gonna crunch your knee. Try to touch your elbow through your knee for three seconds and step back. Go boom, crush the fucking ball. Try to pop it with your elbow and your knee. The kids are gone, so now we can talk. Dig it in, crunch it. You're trying to squeeze, touch your elbow to your knee in between. Boom, crunch, crunch. It's an isometric hold for those three seconds, but it's a crazy squeeze on that side of the abs. Uh. So this is the only ab type of work that I'll do. Fuck a crunch. Crunch is a waste of your time. I'll do a couple sets of stuff like this, a couple times a month maybe. That's all you need to do. You're down 108 pounds, which is awesome obviously, and that's in a year. You lost 100 in like nine something months, and you have 40, 45 more to go. If you slept 40, 40 to 45 more to go, guess what? You were not at a plateau. You just lost a little bit of focus. We're gonna talk about that on Tuesday. And I'll talk to you about it again sooner than that because we can't wait Tuesday to get you get your shit together, right? All right, so we're moving on. That's round two. So we're gonna go back to the first group, or first spot, you know, the dumbbells, medium dumbbells, for the next round. Six new exercises. Shake it out, quick stretch of the shoulders. We're pumping. So we're gonna go now for alternating presses. We're gonna keep the palms in. Back to our heavier dumbbells. Yeah, you guys look real sick, huh? You just don't wanna go to school, huh? You should be doing this workout with me. You're lucky I'm already started and you didn't, have, you didn't warm up. You're working out later, boy. Yeah, it's a joy to live with me, huh? Live in the cave with me. All right, so we're back to our beginning of our round. Mm. Alternating press, palms in. Who's that? They're both gonna move, one is up, and they're both gonna move the entire time. Just cr crossing paths in the middle. Pumping it out, strong shoulders, abs are tight. When you're going up, don't let your lower back arch back like this. You need to stay totally straight. Bend your knees, your ankles, your knees, and your hips. Should all be slightly bent. Bless you. Drive it up there. If you want to get crazy with this, add some more core work. You can walk while you're doing these all day presses. Just to add a little dynamic into it. So it's not so boring doing some super little press. Always ways to mix it up. Always ways to create new workouts and exercise. Like that jack press, or whatever the hell we were doing. We were doing something before we were spinning in circles. You guys helped me create a new exercise, just like that. Look at that. You're always learning. Always have a freaking open mind. Learn something new from everyone. Let's go. We got front to back, jack press up. Yeah, I'm babbling. Front to back, jack press up with the kettlebell. So feet are going to go front to back. Kettlebell is going to go up and down. Before the feet, we're going side to side. Now it's going up and down. 
Brace your abs. Dig. Pop. Pop. Light on your feet. Boom. 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 Bang it out there. Yeah. Bless you. Bless you. We've been sneezing all day. Sam, bless you all day. Say 8,000 times a day. That's front to back. Jack, press up. Now, this is a killer workout if you're doing it the right way and you're following the right way. Of course, we're training hard. Left arm, heavy kettlebell, left arm swing. So you can see, I haven't needed, I didn't need any space here. I'm using barely any equipment. This whole setup you have here, you could buy for pennies. So there's no excuse, money, time, space, motivation. That's all the same bullshit excuse. The excuse is you're making fucking excuses. Stop making them. You don't have your priorities right. And like we talked about last week on the Facebook Live. There's always a way to make it happen. Always a way to get a world-class, effective workout where you can burn calories and burn fat. So we have run and punch up with lateral shuffle. So we're back to our light dumbbells. Going side to side. Here, boom, 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 boom. All the way across the way. Coming back. I won't go so you have to deal with my ugly ass face to go along. We don't need any fucking music, right? My voice is enough music for you. Pumping it. Abs are strong. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Blast. Ha 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 ha. Pump it out. Back is straight. Bam. Bam, we have a trunk twist with a pivot. What do we got here? So grab it, one hand, the other hand right over top of it. Whatever direction your hands are going for the reach, my opposite foot's gonna pivot, that's this one. And I'm gonna snap to my left with my right foot pivoting. Head is up, chest is out, shoulders are back, snap it out, resist it in. Speed going out, resist it in. Whip it, bam. Once you have it down, you get a little rhythm to it, as long as you're centered and controlled. Right away, we're going to switch our grip, flip it around, whip it, bam. Shoulders are back and down, locked, strong grip. Whip it across, snap it, chest out. Face follows your chest. Whole body is turning 180 degrees. 180 degrees in the angle, not a temperature for you brain surgeons out there. And we're going with stability ball for our corset, but we want core, we want cardio, so we're making our, most of our core sets are actually cardio sets, we're moving, using your whole body to work your core. So we're holding a plank here, and jumping your feet apart together. So a low plank jack on a stability wall. You need to stabilize, you need to modify, look, you just hold it, tap one foot out, back in, one foot out, back in. Obviously if you don't have the ball, or the ball is too hard, you do this on the floor. There's always a modification and always way to do things. Let's end of a round. Where's my Herbalife drink? Who took my Herbalife drink? There it is. Don't fuck with a man's drink. Worst thing is losing your drink right before a workout or during a workout. Or you're in some gym and some asshole throws it out in accident or steals your shit. Or you're a dumbass and not paying attention and the entire lid is off and you go to shake it like I've done before and the shit just splashes all in your face and you lose 75% of your drink all over your face and the floor, you start licking the fucking rug with a, taking a straw, trying to get your work in your drink. And you're crazy. It's happened to me a few times. All right, we're going round four. So we're back to our dumbbells. Round one, remember the main set, was presses. Round two was curls. Round three was also press. Who can guess? What round four is going to start with? Who is following the template? If you look at the way this is all planned out, it all makes sense. It all flows. It all has a process to it. This is not just shit thrown together like you'll see most people do. A lot of thought process goes into every single training session we come with at Peak Physique. Who knows what's coming next? And someone tell me what's going to exercise coming next. Who can tell me? Who can tell me? No one? 
Three seconds. It's a surprise. Someone could tell me what exercise I'm going to lead this next round off with. I just gave you a huge hint and set you up for it. Someone could tell me what exercise this round, off, this round is going to lead off with. You got a prize. You got a t-shirt. Three, two, one, and no one was paying attention. So round one was shoulder press. Round two was bicep curl. Round three was alternating shoulder press. So round four is going to be alternating bicep curl. Simple stuff. So right here, we're going to keep our palms up. You twist them in, it'll work, but then you're doing this, you're getting a rest every time. We want both palms up, both arms working the entire time. It's gonna get 10 times more workout. Now this is a total body exercise, because we're doing arms with shoulders and core. Just by doing this alternating, this is, let, this is working your core also. You wanna get crazy with it, you can sit there and walk while you're doing alternating bicep curls, because we're not worried about a single tiny little muscle like the biceps, they get plenty of work on our pull-ups and our back day. So you wanna make them more challenging, you wanna make it a total body exercise to work that one little muscle of your bicep, just like our core. We're doing total body exercise to work our core. So now, round four, we have front and back, jack press out with our kettlebell. So feet go front to back, weight kettlebell goes front and back, right here. Whew. Extend your arms all the way out. Obviously if you need to, just go partially out with the shoulders, and not swipe with the feet. But if you can do full range of motion, don't be a little bitch, just because this is getting kind of hard. Extend those arms all the way out. Feet nice wide stride. Fast pace, front to back. Pump it out like you have some fucking goals. Work with a little bit, sense of urgency. A little bit of purpose. If you're doing this and not dripping sweat, you're bullshitting and you're doing it wrong. So we have our light dumbbells now. Run and punch. Out with lateral shuffle. See how it all just flows. Our first set was run and punch up. Second set was run and punch out. Third set was run and punch up with lateral shuffle. Now it's run and punch out with lateral shuffle. High knees. Fully extend the arms. Fast pace. Balance your set. Ball to your feet. Ball to your feet means not on your tippy toes. It means that pad, top part of your foot. That is the balls of your foot. That's where you get your power from, your speed from, your explosive from. That's where you buffer the hit impact from. Bands. Round four is now a strong twist with no pivot. So with the pivot, we worked more total body to turn. Now it's gonna be no pivot, so it's gonna be more localized in the core, obliques. Head up, chest out, same grip, 180 degrees, just a little tempo to it. Out a little faster, resist a little bit coming in. Dig in your waist, core, your waist, obliques, strong grip, switch positions, straight out in front of you. Twist, boom. You can save this workout, you got this equipment, you can do this at any time, any place. You can see we need zero space. I haven't left the frame of this little stupid phone this whole time. So you don't need much space, you don't need much equipment to get a full workout in. And all the same equipment I could get a chest workout in, killer chest workout, I can get a back workout in. You don't need massive plates and dumbbells like some big freak thinking you're some kind of power lifter. You're probably not. All right, now we have back to the plank. We did the knee strikes, we did the squeeze, we did the plank jacks, but now we're gonna do knee strikes more like a mountain climber. So we're gonna skip out those knee strikes because we want that cardio and core effect. Boom, 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 boom. Dig it, pump it. It's gonna do it. Good coordination. So you're working your whole body in order to get your core stronger, but also get the cardio effect. We want more bang for your buck. We're not gonna waste silly little movements. It's not getting us more effectiveness, more muscles moving. More total body. So that was round four. We're gonna go round five with five new exercises. Our fifth and final round. Can someone tell me how long this has been? Who's out there watching? Tell me how long we've been so far. We did just one round of each. Technically, you could have did just one group. Really, these five groups could be five different exercises. You can pick one group, run through it as hard as you can, 30 seconds each, 45 seconds each, a minute each, take a break. Repeat that same group. And you're saying save group two for your workout next week. Save group three for a week after that. Technically, this workout could be five 
different workouts. I'm just running through all five in one day just to get a mix. And then I'll probably run through them a second time. But we're just going through them once with you to show you how they go, how the flow goes. But you can break it up as much as you want. So 30 minutes, 24 minutes, 30 minutes. Kind of what we were looking for. Somewhere 20, 30, 45 minutes tops. When you claim you're so busy, your kids are sick. Like these little freaks claim they're sick right now. My kids are sick, I can't work out today. Bull fucking shit. How am I figuring it out? Stop making excuses. Know what your goals are. Set goals of six of them. All right, we're gonna go round five. We're gonna do alternating curl to press. Palms are in, both arms are working. One arm is up, one arm is down. They're gonna switch at the same time, crossing path in the middle. Right here, bam, bam, right there, tight. This will work your core also. This is working my legs, making me have to bounce, obviously working my biceps, my shoulders. The non-stop movement's gonna get your heart rate up. And if you're blabbing, non-stop like me, that makes every one of these sets harder. Actually, we just came up with a new idea. The non-stop talking workout. Makes you get out of breath more. You're gonna have a workout where you're allowed to talk the whole workout. It's gonna be a good challenge for you guys. It's called the shut the fuck up workout. But whenever you're talking when you're doing these sets, it takes a whole different type of focus because I gotta keep this core tight while I'm sitting there battling all this bullshit to you guys. Not bullshit, but you know what I mean. Excuses, show you how to do this shit at home on your own. Bounce it out, apart. Together, apart, together, apart. Together, apart, together, apart. Go, 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 go. Pop that down. Boom, raise the abs. We want it tense, but we still want control and technique. Bam. We're on a heavier kettlebell now. Double arm swing with a lateral walk. So when you come down with the swing, your feet will be apart, come up, together. If you do your feet together when you come down, you're gonna kneecap yourself. Now as much as I like kneecapping people, I've given up that life. Now we're trying to save kneecaps instead of taking out with a Louisville slugger. Allegedly, brings the abs, working the hamstrings, the glutes, lower back, boom. Double arm, kettlebell swing, lateral walk. Moving on. Light dumbbells. We're gonna be on our back. Alternate press, alternate flutter kick. Kind of fits in with that whole run punch theme. So when one leg is up, if you guys see me, the other arm is up. And we're gonna pump this out. Bam, bam. Speed. These are light, so we can go fast. So we're getting that cardio effect. We're getting that core effect. We're pumping, we're out of breath, your heart rate's up, pump this out. These are light weights. This is just to get you flowing. I want to see those weights moving in the air. It should just be a blur through the air, that's how fast you should be moving. And going to our band set, anti-rotation. So you're gonna hold the band. This one you might even want to double up because you're gonna need a thicker band, otherwise it's too easy. Into your chest, a ton of tension. Where the band's trying to pull me this way. Holding it at my chest, I'm gonna hold my ground and push straight forward. It's trying to pull me in there 100%, but on my leg, it's always ripping like crazy in my waist. Right here, right back into my chest. Shoulders are backing down, hold your ground. Don't let it pull you. Don't twist, don't give into it. Pull me to the right. I will not give in. 
I will not let him. Digging that right side of your waist. Bam. We got it. One last set is our stability ball core set. This is it. This is our 15th exercise. So like I said, you can take one group of five, make that a workout, repeat it three, four times, and use the other sets for another workout. One second. So we're on the plank, on the stability ball, like we've been doing. So that's the only way. You notice I say we're working abs and core? You haven't seen me do one freaking crunch or a fucking sit up or anything like that. So we're just gonna hold it here. You can play tons of games with this. You could go forward and back. You could go circles clockwise. Crazy core work. Circles counterclockwise. You could play a game. You gotta spell something out. Let's see. Uh, ask, tell me if you can see what I'm spelling. One letter. There's two letters. I'm writing something out for you. When I'm done writing it, we're done with the workout. It's two words. Who can tell me what I just spelled out? First person to tell me what I just spelled out in that plank is getting a t-shirt. Who can tell me what I spelled out? It ain't that fucking hard. Maureen gets a t-shirt. Look at that. Amazing. You don't even have to see me moving to know what I spelled out. That's pretty common sense, right? I almost spelled out mother effer, but I figured I'll keep this a family show. Sala Costa, yes, no excuses, but Maureen beat you to it. All right, we're all done. So this was the adapt and overcome workout. Obviously no excuses. We're doing it for this freak. Cause this freak, look, oh yeah, he's real sick. Couldn't go to school today. Uh, but look, I'm gonna do something. Tries, I'm out of breath, dripping sweat. You can always find a way to work out. Minimal quit, no quit, doesn't matter. Morning side, Tyson. Hi. All right, we'll see you later. If you have any questions, put them in the comments, save this video, use it whenever you want. We'll do these whenever I can get a chance. Let me know if you have questions.